Wagwan beautiful people, welcome to yet another video. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am glad to be back with another video and in today's video we are back with some club World Cup action and this time we are going for the final. Now for the semi-final we faced Al Hilal. Not one of our best performances, if anything that goal was just by chance. I mean it was such a short period that Lukaku finally managed to, go, to get us a goal and we really struggled for that goal. But at the end of the day we won and we were through to the final so I'll take this final is gonna be a tough one the team we're facing from Brazil is very strong I mean the game that they showed in their semi-final was phenomenal compared to ours so coming to this game will definitely be having a challenge this might be a tough game we have never won this title before so it's gonna be another interesting one to see whether we can finally do it whether we can get a club world cup i mean faster we start winning titles maybe this will encourage the players more and maybe some will do better in terms of performance and in terms of giving their all in on the club in the clubs now this will be the final it will be on saturday and i have to say i'm very excited i can't wait to, i can't wait to see how the players play can we finally get a club world cup title and this will be my preview i'll be giving you my starting 11 my score prediction and of course i'll be telling you how i feel the game might go so in terms of the game the previous game as i said we really struggled i feel like we could have given a better result and in terms of how we how we were able to just how we we're able to just get a goal i feel like we could have done better we could have done better in terms of the in terms of al hilal the way we played them was actually very we're not confident i would say so coming coming forward in this game i hope we'll be better maybe it's the fact that thomas tuchel was not there that's why we did not do so well <laughs> but i really hope that in this game we are going to be able to pick up from where we left off and we need to do better we need to take this title with that in mind i'll be having my starting 11 both, both of the teams that we are going to face al hilal that we faced won their opponents and they were the best till we beat them and then palmenera is now they had a very convincing game they won with a 2-0 win to be able to qualify to the final so in terms of this game when we come to this game we definitely have to give it our best now in terms of the players i feel like some of the players that have been playing well should continue playing the likes of zh now he should not be dropped uh, coming into this game i hope you're able to put our mind right put our heads down and be able to focus in this game we need to win titles <laughs> So in terms of my starting 11, let's jump right into it. Of course, the good news is Thomas Tuchel is back. The whole squad is back together. Mendy is back and there's a pos possibility of him starting tomorrow. Now, who do you think between Mendy and Kepa should start tomorrow? I mean, Kepa has just evolved. His confidence is at its peak. I mean, the way he's just showing up for us in the field is just great. I mean, we are. this is the point we're asking, where has Kepa been all this time? I mean, meaning winning man of the match, he's just playing well. So do you think Kepa will be dropped now that Mendy is back? Personally, I feel like Kepa will possibly stay. Hear me out, hear me out. Now, Mendy just came back from AFCON. Of course, he won. But at the same time, Kepa is more informed in terms of playing with the players. The chemistry is there. He, they know how to work together. But I would also say that in terms of Mendy, his height also comes in handy. But in terms of saving penalties, Kepa. In terms of Mendy, he mentioned in his Afcon um, after match highlight, after match um, interview that he just wanted to catch one penalty. Now we do not need that. <laughs> we do not need that mentality coming to this World Cup. Now coming to this club World Cup, we have to make sure that we have a, a, a keeper that will want to catch all the penalties, not just one, because <laughs> we need to win. As I said, it's very important that we do. So who do you think we're going to be putting in terms of the goalkeepers? Will it be Kepa or Mendy? Tell me in the comment section down below. Make sure you tune in to the end. So I'll be having for the back, I'll be going with a 3-4-3 formation i feel like um it worked well in the previous game against al hilal now palmeneras is a strong team now will we want to go with the back four because we have to make sure our defense is really strong um it might be necessary and i would be surprised if thomas tuchel goes with it but uh, the 343 works really well against al hilal and maybe you know as we're still used to that type of formation Maybe it will help us give us results, but if it's not working, we have time to change, okay? We should not just be stuck in one way and just wait 
for no results if results are not coming so if you're halfway through the 343 is not working let us revert to 4222 or 4141 formation whichever is working for us if we have to remove some players let us do it and let us do what's working so for the back three i've gone i've gone with the 343 three. for the back three i'll be having rudiger tiago silva and i'll be having chaloba then in terms of the midfield four, I'll be having Malang Sa. I won't be surprised if Alonso starts though, <laughs> but I'll be going with Malang Sa. Then at the pivot, I'll be having, that is the left wing back. Then at the pivot, I'll be having Kovacic and Golo Kante. Then in terms of the right wing back, I'll be having Ziyech. Yes, I put Ziyech because I feel like Ziyech should start in this game. Then in terms of the front three, I will be having Kai Havertz, who in my opinion should start over Lukaku. Habits should start over Lukaku, but I don't know what's happening. And any any day if you were to ask me Habits or Lukaku to start, I would pick Habits. I mean Habits in terms of creating chances, in terms of clinical finishing, in terms of assists, he is way better than Lukaku at any point. So I would pick Kai Habits. For the front three I'll be having Kai Havertz, Mason Mount and Lukaku. Now, yes, I don't think uh, Timo Werner will be starting in Christian Pulisic in place, in place of Lukaku. So that is my starting level. Now, in terms of the goalkeepers, I think we might still have to go with Kepa. Kepa has been our number one goalkeeper, has been our go-to goalkeeper. But I will not be surprised if Mendy is put to start because, again, he has the tall advantage. He's, he's taller than Kepa. But other than that, I feel like they all bring the same thing to the table. Even to add to it, I feel like Kepa adds more in terms of saving penalties better than Mendy. So I will not be surprised if Mendy starts, but I think Kepa will be the go-to goalkeeper for this final. So that is in terms of my starting 11. In terms of my score prediction, it's going to be a tough one. We might even consider goal. I will not be surprised if we consider goal. But the main important thing is to make sure we win. So I'll be going with a 2-1 win. But I will not be surprised if it goes to penalties, keep an open mind, anything can happen, it's football. But my prediction is a 2-1 win for Chelsea, let us carry our first title of the season. It should get us going, it should keep our blood pumping, it should keep us more excited for the next games to come. Carabao Cup Final is coming, um, we should be targeting the FA Cup Final, Champions League Final, all the finals should be at our reach. So let us see how this one goes and tell me your score predictions in the comment section down below. Let us see what happens tomorrow, it's good to have our, our coach back. And yes, that is in terms of my video, if you enjoyed the content, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I'll be seeing you in my next video.